In this instructional video, you will learn how to set up the OAuth2 authentication for your Microsoft 365 email service to use it with OTRS Community Edition. First, we will set up a shared mailbox that OTRSCE will use to get email. You can skip this part if you already have a mailbox to use with OTRSCE. In your web browser, go to the Exchange Admin Center at admin.exchange.microsoft.com. In the sidebar, select Mailboxes. On the Manage Mailboxes screen, click Add a Shared Mailbox. In the form that appears, enter a name for your mailbox and set the email address by entering the local part and selecting a domain. Then click Create. You now need to select the users that will be allowed to read and manage this mailbox. Select the newly created mailbox in the list and go to Delegation. Click the Edit button in the Read and Manage section. Click Add Members. Select the users that you want to add and click Save. Click Confirm. We will now register an app in Microsoft 365. The app will allow OTRSCE to authenticate with Microsoft 365 and access the contents in the mailbox. Go to the Microsoft Azure portal at portal.azure.com. Go to the App Registration screen. You can find it using the search bar at the top. Click New Registration. In the form, enter a name for the application. Select the Public Client Native option in the Redirect URI platform dropdown. Click Register. A summary of your new app will be displayed. Use the icon next to the application ID to copy its value because it will be needed later. In the next step, we will configure authentication for the newly created app. In the sidebar, select Authentication. Then click Add a Platform. Select the Web Platform. In the Configure Web Form, enter the redirect URI that is used by OTRSCE, usually your domain name followed by slash OTRS slash get dash OAuth2 dash token dash by dash authorization dash code dot PL. Click Configure. Now we will configure a client secret for the application. Select Certificates and Secrets in the sidebar. Click New Client Secret. In the Add a Client Secret form, choose when the secret will expire. You can also add the optional description. Click Add. In the summary, copy the value of the secret using the icon next to it because it will also be needed in a later step. Make sure you save it, because it is only displayed immediately after the secret is created and will disappear later. We will now configure the permissions required to access the mailbox after a successful authentication. Select API Permissions in the sidebar. Then click Add a Permission. Select Microsoft Graph. Then select Delegated Permissions. Use the search box to find and select the appropriate permissions in the displayed list. Enter IMAP. SMTP.
pop. And offline. When all required permissions are selected, click Add Permissions. A summary will be displayed with a list of selected permissions. You can remove the default user.read permission as it isn't needed in this case. Finally, click Grant Admin Consent. With the Microsoft 365 application configured, we will now configure a mail account in OTRS CE to use it for authentication. Open OTRS CE and go to the Admin screen. In the Communications and Notifications section, choose OAuth2. In the sidebar, select a Microsoft Outlook token configuration template and click Add Configuration. Enter a name for the configuration and paste the two values copied in the earlier steps. The application or client ID and the value of the client secret. Click Save. On the previous OAuth2 token configuration screen, click Request New Token to get the first authentication token. You may need to log in to your Microsoft 365 account to confirm the request. Make sure to use an account that is allowed access to the mailbox. When the OAuth2 token configuration screen is refreshed, you should see that both the authentication token and the refresh token are now listed as valid. Go back to the main admin screen and select Postmaster Mail Accounts. Click Add Mail Account. In the Account Details form, select the type of the account, usually IMAPS or IMAP TLS, and choose OAuth2 token as the authentication method. In the Username field, enter the email address of the mailbox. Select the newly created OAuth2 configuration. In the Host field, enter the name of the IMAP server. If you're not sure what host name to use, you should be able to find it at your Exchange account. Click Save. The configuration is now complete and your OTRS CE system should be able to authenticate with Microsoft 365 and receive messages sent to the configured mailbox.